Peyton Manning took a victory lap at Disneyland today after becoming the oldest quarterback ever to win a Super Bowl. But now everybody's asking, has he played his last game? Here's ABC's Chris Connolly. And on the day after, Peyton Manning went to Disneyland. The game, uh, the celebration after being here today, uh, all makes for a very special 24 hours. The 24 hours that began a few hundred miles north in Santa Clara, California, Jim at Levi Stadium. You know, where Beyonce was. Peyton Manning may be no stranger to electrifying performances. By his standards, Super Bowl 50 was not one of them. His Denver Broncos set a new low for fewest yards gained by a winning team. And it's Ely who gets to him. But so what? He's the oldest quarterback ever to lead his team to a Super Bowl victory. The underdog Broncos beating Cam Newton's Carolina Panthers. And hits the pass to Fowler. But was that the last pass the 39-year-old Manning will ever throw? Speculation about Peyton's retirement heating up after he spoke these words two weeks ago to Patriots coach Bill Belichick, captured on Showtime's Inside the NFL. Hey, listen, hey, this might be my last rodeo, so it sure has been a pleasure. So was Manning's second Super Bowl victory his last rodeo or just the latest ride in a Hall of Fame career? You know, I'll take some time to reflect. I got a couple of priorities first. I want to go kiss my wife and my kids. I want to go... You know, hug my family. I'm going to drink a lot of Budweiser tonight, Tracy. I promise you that. And so after the cheers and the beers, the good times still rolling. Magisterial on the field, on message, off it. Peyton Manning has been pro football's pluperfect ambassador, the NFL's great entertainer. There's always going to be consistency out of Peyton Manning. His professionalism says a lot about who he is and what he's done for the National Football League. Manning going this side. Week after week for 18 seasons with the Indianapolis Colts and then with the Broncos, orchestrating the thrilling moments that have sustained the sport's popularity, like the Colts' Super Bowl 41 win in the rain. Off the field, a perennial pitchman. Check out our new Epic Needs Pizza. For Papa John. Not that meat. For MasterCard. Do I really look like this? Singing under his breath for Nationwide. I've always told players, you know, certain players are stars in our league, and we know who they are, but there's a, there's a unique few that are celebrities. Well, Peyton Manning's a celebrity. He's bigger than a star. Even crossing over on Saturday Night Live showing a true performer's comic gifts. Now, I'll kill a snitch. I'm not saying I have, I'm not saying I have. You know what I mean. That hilariously cynical Peyton, a far cry from the young boy who idolized his father, Archie Manning, himself a legendary QB. Hey, who's your favorite football player, then? My dad. I was lucky growing up, I had my hero right there in my house. The Mannings on their way to becoming a beloved football dynasty, seen in this NFL Network profile. Right, you're going to be a football player when you grow up? Mm -hmm. The legacy of the Manning family starts with their father, Archie Manning, who I actually played against when he was with the New Orleans Saints. Uh, he wasn't on a very good football team, but he was an excellent quarterback. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And um, I've always said this, good soup-like character made at home. And when you think about the Manning family, it starts with Archie, his beautiful wife, and how they raised their children. And knowing that these guys were going to be maybe professional quarterbacks one time in their lifetime, and they've done that. Peyton would dominate at the University of Tennessee before becoming the number one overall pick of the 1998 NFL Draft. Over and again, he'd beat teams with his arm and his mind. Instead, the ball is to the officials, but his meticulous pre-snap routine, earning him the nickname the Sheriff putting up huge numbers, even as his teams sometimes fell short in the postseason. While younger brother Eli Manning won two Super Bowls of his own. Peyton at last pulling even with his sibling, whose unusually dour demeanor set social media ablaze with memes like, when your brother brings home a better report card than you. Peyton's own high-flying career has hit the occasional air pocket, teased for his notorious Manning face during losses, and worse, his body taking a beating, undergoing multiple surgeries in 2011 for what threatened to become a career-ending neck injury. The doctors and I have been in good constant communication, and we're on the same page. Everything they're, they're saying, though, is everything's right on point, everything looks good, that I'll be cleared and ready to go. So that's encouraging to me. 
And late last year, possible questions about that recovery. Claims in an Al Jazeera documentary, The Dark Side, The Secret World of Sports Doping, from a former employee at an Indianapolis clinic. Another time that I worked with Peyton, him and his wife would come in after hours and get IVs and all the time, we would be sending growth hormone all the time, everywhere. Manning vigorously denying any assertion that he used HGH. I think I rotate Lisa between being uh, angry, uh, furious, on and on, but disgusted is really how I feel, sickened by it. Have you ever used HGH or any performance enhancing drug? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. The Al Jazeera source would recant his statement in full. A rep for Manning did confirm to the Washington Post that Manning's wife Ashley received a shipment of medication. The NFL says it is investigating. Yet now as Peyton ponders his next move, his options abound. He remains the darling of corporate America, even giving Papa John founder John Schnatter a post-game peck on the field. He could play one more season, perhaps with the Rams moving to Los Angeles and in desperate need of some Hollywood star power or with growing evidence over the toll football takes on the minds and bodies of those who play it. He could walk away into the arms of his family, pro football's preeminent passer going long for good. For Nightline, I'm Chris Connolly in Los Angeles.